Welcome to Adventures with Peps. Today I'm working on a Citadel Judge Dredd miniature from roughly 1985 known as Mooty in a Dress. This was based on a member of a mutant band led by Morgar, who is going to get painted soon on this channel, uh, and appeared in the Cursed Earth Saga issue 65-66, plus a little uh, poster section that I believe was drawn by Brian Boland. This isn't the first one from that poster range that we did. Obviously, uh, Mooty with Bazooka last week was from there as well. She is armed with a spit carbine and sports a ballerina tutu and tights. It's such an iconic looking model. I love it. Uh, it managed to win this week as the community model. So this is the community paint job. I'm going to paint probably a slain model as well this week. Another one. Obviously you'd have seen Baylor earlier this week. The old one eye or whatever he's called. The evil eye. So... This is going to be the Judge Dread mini for the week. So I gave it a very heavy overbrush of Pallid Witch Flesh. Then I grabbed the, I always get this wrong, Plasmatic Bolt by Army Painter. Obviously a speed paint. It's my go-to color when I want to make amphibious looking creatures. And just purely because of the features this model has, Makes me think of a frog, so I wanted to make sure she had this aquatic quality about her. It's quite a funny little model. It's very detailed for something so small, yet somehow not detailed at all. I, it's very hard to explain. Um, she has some holes in her tights, which I'm now trying to pick out, i.e. the knees and the toes. Then we're going to grab onto her arms and face. I want to make sure I go good solid coat. Now I am only going to take this to tabletop level. My ultimate goal is to try and get as much of my collection painted as possible this year uh, without buying too many extras. I'm failing miserably at that but I have actually painted a lot which is great progress to see over here. I really want to push hard into the painting of the Judge Shred figures in Mostly because I want them done and I want to start playing games. That's what I'm missing out on right now. I've messed around with the gaming table. We've done a few battle reports now with ABC Warriors and a couple of dreads. I want to do more dreads. I want to continue expanding the idea of Sector 102. And I really just want to have painted models on the table where I can just randomly do stuff. I want to try out the Warlord game solo mission that they released ages ago, I think during COVID times. I really want to try that out and I want to have the figures to do it. So we're going to head back into the actual Warlord uh, figure line very soon and get everything painted. I own everything apart from, I believe, the Roadster, which shouldn't really be an issue. So once I can have all my figures painted or at least a large chunk of them painted, I can do that solo play game. And that's going to take up a nice chunk of the, the channel going into, I guess, late summer, autumn time. So there we go. That's me waffling on enough. I've waffled on so long that I've finished the skin tone. We then grab the Zealot Yellow. I love this color, truly do. It's such a fun color to paint with. I'm going to use it on her tights. Now, as far as I can tell, even in the comic, this model does not have a name. Uh, she's just known as Mooty in a dress. So if you've got any suggestions, drop them below. I'm going to go through the list of names I've got that are from Dan Abnett books and see if there's a name that kind of fits this character. But if you can come up with a decent name that I really enjoy, I'm going to call her that instead. So this is your chance to name a character. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you would call this model. Now, I think I've talked enough right now. So we're going to start skipping forward on some of this because you don't need to see every painful step. So once the yellow is done, we'll be moving into the probably the gun next, I would imagine, or maybe the tutu. And through the power of forgetfulness, it actually turned out we were doing the hair next. So sand golem was my chosen color. It 
gives a nice dirty blonde effect for the hair. The hair on this model is so clumsily uh, carved. I don't know why. It's such a nice model that they could have took a few extra moments to make the hair look more hair. Kind of looks like she ripped up a, a mop and stuck it on her head. Maybe she did. I don't think that's in the story anywhere. That's <laughs> unfortunately how it looks. I feel like the modeler just wanted that aspect of the model to be done. Maybe they spent too much time doing the tutu that they were just ready for it to be over with. It's just the hair looks very uh, thick. But yeah, just slapping this color on. Nice easy step and we will jump into the next bit. Up next is going to be the tutu, as you can see, and I'm going to use Purple Alchemy by the Army Painter. I'm going to make sure I get lots of this into the ruffles. I want it to fill up the shaded areas, make them look dark. I am currently in the market for a proper pink paint. When I find one, I'm going to dry brush the dress just to lighten it up, because this is going to go pretty dark, but I think it fits well. It's going to stand out against the yellow and that teal-esque green that we've got going on with the skin. I'm trying to make something that looks weird, but also actually goes together and isn't just garish to stare at. This is actually a big chunk of the model now. So once this is done, we've only got the Gravelord Grey of the gun left to go, which should be a quick step. And then... Probably off camera, I'll try and give her some eyes. And then we can do the glamour shots. But as always, I do appreciate you stopping by. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Uh, yeah, next, this Saturday, if I can get my words out, there'll be the next community poll. It's going to be a lot more Judge Dread. It's probably going to be Judge Dread heavy this week. I've... Uh, Got a few projects in my brain that I'd like to move forward with. I just want you guys to pick which one to prioritize. And as always, appreciate everyone who has been voting in those polls. It does help me pick what I should paint and uh, gives me some inspiration, some drive to get some stuff done. So it's really actually helping me quite a lot. So I do appreciate you all. And as always, cheers for watching.